So this is the, this is the Feige DIY drone mini indoor racing drone. It comes in this box. It says here it can do a battle. It has a gyro HDB camera, but it doesn't actually have one. There is another model. I think on the back here you can check which model has the camera. So this actually is a 605 without even a camera, but there is a 605 with a 720p camera. So just be aware of that. Um, it comes at like you need to assemble it. So you can see over here that you need to put down the motors, the props, the camera, and the frames. So if you open it, well, you got remote control over here, the frame, the camera, and all you need to assemble it. So let's go ahead and assemble it. It's pretty easy. So you got a frame. So you got here the brain. That is a, I'm not sure what it is. The orientation is very important. It also goes on in one way. So you got a, a hole over here and you're going to slide, you're going to see this sensor over here that is actually for the battle. So you can fly two drones and battle together with laser, but because we got only one, we cannot do this. So the sensor has a hole over here. So you just slide it down like this, and that's it for now. And we can put the cover already on top. So here again, you got holes for the infrared and the battery. So make sure you you have the right one so you can see there is a small hole there for the LED and this is for the battery so just press it down you hear like a click and that's it and then you got the motors the motors as well they're easy so you got clockwise and anti-clockwise and the difference are in the colors so if you flip over you can see there are different colors on the plugs so for example, the red one needs to go over here. So you put the cable down in the hole and then you push down the motors and then you plug the cable. And there is only one way. There's a little notch that goes towards the inside. You press it down and then there's a little hook over here for the cable to keep it tidy like this. So let's go ahead to do the other ones. So that's it. This is the, the drone. So the front is where the LED is and then the back is where the power is. And now you're going to have props. So you're going to have eight of them, but you will need only four of them. So you can see over here, I don't know if you can see them, but there is written B. So you got two versions, B and A. So it gets two B and two A. So they say A goes on the red motors. You just press them down. They might come off when you crash, maybe when you fly too hard, but that's normal. And if you break all of them, they're very similar to like normal ones that for micro drone, so you can just buy them online, pretty cheap. And then last things, you got the battery. This is a 3.7 volts, 350 milliwatts. Um, it should be arrived for um, five minutes, top max. And then you just plug the connector inside. Um, the remote has needs three uh, batteries that are double three. To use it, just turn it on. You up and down, and then this is synced. Um, to turn it on, actually, you need to press all, 
I mean, let me put this one in shot. So you need to put the joystick all pointing inside, so like this. And then to turn it off outside like this. And that's it. Uh, so 360 is the flip. VS is actually button mode, but uh, we don't have a second drone, so we, we cannot test. Uh, the, the rocket is actually the speed switch that it means that you potentially change the speed. Yeah, high, medium, low. And then you got the picture trigger, but you don't have any camera, so you can't do anything. Uh, this just down here, Y is hand headless mode. And then you got X for front light control and then B for takeoff and landing and then A for emergency stop. So let's go ahead, press B. Yeah. Let's try to fly. So let's press B, B engage with motor and press again B. It will start, fly and then B again, it will land. Let's test again B. And then you can lower down. And then you can test the A button emergency stop. It works. So we can engage it with the joystick. You can go up the throttle. Uh, we can test the 360. So basically we press the 360 and then left. You see it flips. So again, press the 360 and then the joystick forward, left, right and back. And then we land. So this is poor mode, so you can see it's very reactive. And then you can change to low speed. So this is just very quiet for beginner and then mid speed and if press again you can see it's more aggressive and that's it